Is it just me or am I looking kind of cute today? Hey everyone, uh, I'm Codes. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how Harry Potter is basically doing a Star Wars. Cause that's a thing. So as you should all know by now, Harry Potter has seen two different movie franchises and a screenplay performed in Melbourne and put into book form as the script. So, how exactly is Harry Potter doing a Star Wars? I think that's really plain to see. Star Wars is often known for the fact that it was uh, <laughs> jumping around between times a lot. You know, there was the original trilogy, then it went back in time to the second trilogy, and then it went forward again to the trilogy we're in now, and the last movie in that trilogy has just released. So, I mean, Star Wars jumps around a lot. <laughs> Harry Potter does the same, if you think about it, because Harry Potter had the original seven movies and books, actually eight movies, if you count the fact that the seventh was a part one and two, but anyways, yeah, Harry Potter had the original seven books, eight movies, you know, and now they have the Fantastic Beast series, which jumps back in time, there's the first Fantastic Beasts and where to find them, then there's uh, Fantastic Beasts, the Crimes of Grindelwald, so, two movies there that go back in time from the original Harry Potter movies. Then, in the future, after the Harry Potter franchise, you have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is the screenplay that was performed down in Melbourne, in Australia, and made into a book, which is the script of the play. So they're doing a Star Wars, aren't they? Like, if you think about it, Harry Potter could very well end up being known for its jumping back and forth in time, just like Star Wars is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they, they're doing that, and I don't see why. So, to me, when a franchise does this, it's because they want to um, not um, jeopardize the longevity. Longevity, long, longevity. How do you pronounce that word? I've never been able to pronounce that word. To not jeopardize the existence, the continuing existence of their franchise when there's more money to be milked off it. That's what they want. They want the money. So yeah, the money is a huge factor. And it's all because of money that we're seeing a lot more Harry Potter and a lot more Star Wars. And I'm pretty sure even though the Star Wars movies are coming to an end, there's going to continue to be a lot of spin-offs for years to come. I can only imagine that. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please do slap that like button and hit that subscribe button and then tap the notification bell so that you never miss a video by me. Anyways, I guess I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.